What's up guys, it's Wesley, and I'm bringing you some Modern Warfare 3 survival gameplay on Village, and I uh, started it at like round 9 or whatever because the first few rounds are boring as hell, and I don't want you guys to sit through like some boring gameplay, so I'd rather see you guys, you know, enjoying it or whatever. So, um, the main point of me making this video was to talk about Modern Warfare 3 adding 5 new prestiges, so there's going to be 15 prestiges, and this is according to an article I saw in the tech game. As well as a tweet from Robert Bowling, the um, Infinity Ward community manager or something like that. And he basically said that they're adding five new prestiges and they already did it to the PC. And it's coming soon to the consoles. So now there's going to be 15. And honestly, I don't like it at all. Like this was just a terrible idea. And I mean, <clears throat> for me in Black Ops, 15 prestiges was okay. Because, you know, you only had to go to level 50. But now in Marvel for 3, you have to go to fucking level 80. So it's way too high. And I guess maybe they just don't want people that are already 10th prestige to get bored with the game. Or like elite members or something that like have been 10th prestige since like the first month. They figure that if they add more prestiges, people won't stop playing. And I mean, I guess maybe that's a, a good strategy for them. I mean, if they want to like, you know, make Marvel for 3, make people play it like over the summer. Because I feel like a lot of people will get bored of this game by the time the summer comes. Uh, waiting for the next Call of Duty, whether it's Black Ops 2 or Vietnam or whatever the next Call of Duty is going to be. But, um, yeah, I also, like, I don't know, I don't get a lot of playing time on Mono for 3, so my rank isn't that high. And I kind of, like, I want to get 10 Prestige because I'm the highest rank in every other Call of Duty. Call of Duty 4 all the way up to Black Ops, I was the highest rank. And... Now I just feel like it's going to take forever because 15 prestige is a lot and I think I'm like second or third prestige now and I feel like 10 was a reasonable goal but now like 15 prestige I'm going to be playing forever. And I guess maybe some people that are already like 8th or 9th or 10th prestige might like this idea but I don't really like it. Maybe it's because Mono for 3 isn't my favorite Call of Duty because you know I don't know the gameplay just isn't as fun for me as the past Call of Duties because my favorite Call of Duty was World at War. Because I don't know, I was just I was just a god at that game. I was really good at search and destroy and headquarters and um, in my prime, yeah, I would rank up really really fast in that game. I was a tech prestige on two different accounts actually, and that was 100% legit. So um, after World at War is COD 4, because COD 4 had good ass maps, and even with basic kill streaks and attachments on the guns, it was still really fun. Like I feel like. And like some of the newer Call of Duties, like Mono for Two and Mono for Three, they kind of overdo it with like the kill streaks and stuff. But I mean, they're still fun, I guess. It depends on like what kind of game, what kind of first-person shooter games you like. But I don't know. I kind of feel like a failure if I didn't get 10th prestige on Mono for Three, just because like I know so many 10th prestiges. Like my friend said, he reload. He's been like a 10th prestige for like months now, and he's like really good at the game. But I don't know. Maybe it's because he plays more, but no, he's better than me, but I don't know. I just feel like I have to, like, live up to an expectation of being a 10th prestige, or else, like, it's kind of, like, a failed goal for me. And, like, now that I have a job and varsity basketball playoffs, by the way, we're five-time league champions, Riverridge, thank you, represent, okay. And school, it's harder to find, like, time to really rank up and play Modern Warfare 3. And most of, like, the people that I play with that used to be, like, in my clan are also on the same pass. Um, one of my friends, you know, has a girlfriend and a job. The other one a girlfriend and a job. The other one a girlfriend and is going to state for wrestling. So, I don't really, like, um, we would always play together on, like, the other Call of Duties. But now everyone's so busy. Um, even with all this stuff, though, I still find time to, you know, kick it with my favorite and my bros and just have good-ass time. But I definitely... Um, want to achieve 10 prestige in Mario for 3 or 15th now that they extended it but yeah shout out to my favorite because she's the best ever and anyway comment on what you think on Mario for 3 adding 5 more prestiges because I want to know what you guys think because I already told you I didn't like it but some of you guys might have different opinions so I just want to know what you guys think about that and also I want to know what kind of videos you guys think I should make. I'll probably address this in a later video, but I definitely want to give my subscribers the best content, whether it's glitches or montages or commentaries, whatever. So if you do finish this video all the way to the end, please comment and tell me 
what type of videos you think that I would be the best at making for you guys because if you're subscribed or you're watching this video right now you probably want to see my future videos so what would be the best also um, be sure to hit the like button if you're just hearing this news or if you like this commentary and be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash easily jackets so um subscribe guys thanks for watching um at the end of this gameplay here I kinda go on like a rampage rage mode and try to wipe out all these people but I'm getting shot in the back the whole time so I end up dying but yeah fail so please subscribe and check out for my future videos peace out